Hello everyone, let's continue our adventure with Sofia and Marco in the Winter Wonderland. So, as before, all you have to do is navigate to this Run Marco All Can Code URL and click the play button. Uh, let me maximize this to the full screen. Uh, today I'm gonna use Sofia as my character and we playing the Winter Wonderland game so let's click on that and last time we did some wonderful code that looked very simple uh, and yet actually the other way around <laughs> I think it needs to be this way okay so it was very simple code uh, Oh, well, I, I wouldn't say very simple, but it was short code, yet it traversed this whole complicated maze and all the way, all the tiles. And we used the motion statements like jump forward, turn left, step forward, and we especially used the repeat loops and we nested them together to get really efficient and simple code. So let's play it one more time. So we essentially do jump forward, jump forward, turn left three times and then we do three steps, jump forward, turn left also three times. So let's see how it worked. That's the first loop and now we're going to the second loop, the big loop and we are done. Okay, and let's move to the new level now. So that's level 10. Let's see if we can figure out something that will help us navigate this maze. So remember, we, what we need to do, we need to visit all tiles exactly once. And the fact that we should look some, for some kind of pattern that repeats itself could perhaps help us to find the correct solution. So. Sophia is facing this way, so let's start this way. So if she goes jump, jump, uh, and then step forward, turn left, step forward, that would be one. And then we have jump, jump, turn, step forward. Yeah, that's really, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see, is there something better? Um, yeah, I don't see anything better. Uh, maybe... Okay, this way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, so, I mean, first of all, we should really... This is a complicated path. So finding a uh, complicated maze, I would say. So finding the path that touches each tile or steps on each tile exactly once is not easy. So... Uh, you know, when you look at it, pause the video right now and try to figure out uh, how would you walk through all the tiles without stepping on any tile twice. Okay, so hopefully you unpaused, you thought about it, and let's figure out. So one possible path that I see, so Sofia can go kind of around the outer edges first, and then go inside all the way here and let's see if, if we can make it somehow uh, repeat itself so maybe okay so Sophia here jumps jumps turn and goes and jumps jumps turn and goes jumps jumps turn and goes that might actually work pretty good so let's try that so uh, what I'm looking for is some kind of pattern that I can use to avoid writing too much code, right? So the first thing that I was thinking about is jump forward, jump forward, turn left, step forward. Let's do that. Let's play it. Hop, hop, turn, step. And now if you look at this, uh, the next section can again be the same jump forward jump forward turn and step so we can use our repeat statement 
a repeat loop and if we put everything in it and repeat it twice we should get all the way here and let's do that pop pop turn and step and in fact we can do it one more time yep so jump jump turn and step so let's do it three times jump jump turn and steps jump jump turn and step great so we are kind of done seems like we are pretty much done with the jumping right so now what we need to do we need to kind of do the spiral inside and so if I step one two three times and turn and then one two three times and turn and one two three times and turn that would be perfect so I know I need to step three times so let's do that step forward three times and I said it as part of this let me also turn and again turn left so remember we kind of starting here and we walking in a spiral that's getting smaller and smaller so if I do just this it will get me to this corner right so let me actually run it so that you all can see it so this is the first that's the outer edges of the maze and now we're doing the inner so we did this one turn left we are here and so let's look at this one so we did three steps sorry one two three steps and turn and if you look at this again there is one two three steps and if we turn that's kind of good direction and again one two three and turn so again I can actually have an outer loop that repeats three times and inside the outer loop I need to do three steps and turn left so let me play this let me run this so this is the first thing with the two jumps and step forward and now we're doing the inner three steps turn three steps turn and the only thing left now is jump turn and jump so I think we can do that so let me connect these two together we are done with this and so what's left is now jump forward turn left and one more jump forward so kind of just this part right jump turn jump so look at how complicated the maze is there are jumps and turns and yet our code is relatively simple not, not, doesn't have that many lines so that's really efficient code that's what we like in computer science right efficient code not long code preferably efficient and easy to read so the first thing is we three times do jump jump turn left step forward in the second part we again three times do three steps forward and turn left and finally in the last part we just do jump forward turn left and jump forward so we can connect it we don't have to and let's run this okay this is the jumps and turns and now we just do the three steps turn three steps turn three steps turn and now we have jump turn jump perfect so that was really nice and if you get this far and you could code this on your own or with just a little bit of help you should be really proud of yourself this is amazing job and okay let's try the next lesson or next level um okay so here we just have so many empty tiles and we need to figure out a way of navigating through them and i suspect it's not that easy because okay so if we just go say this way this way this way this way we get stuck here this is the tricky part so how do we unstuck ourselves so maybe if we go this way and this way and this way da, 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 again stuck um, so 
in this area there th there's this place where we get easily stuck and it is because in this corner there is the bush that we cannot really step into this corner so that's a really tricky place there and so one possibility that is kind of uh, so we might have to step over our own path we did it before so that's not that difficult but let's just see if we can figure out something so as I said this corner is the problem so if we just stay on the outer edges come here come here uh, da, 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 da. that might I don't think it will work so this is a tricky level actually and uh, also the number of tiles 246 is you know kind of adding some difficulty with the way how the bushes are placed so uh, Hmm. How do we go about this? So... Okay. Uh, so let's think about it one more time. So Sophia needs to visit... So Okay, so let's just do something and see if we get stuck or how to fix it. So if we go forward, five steps, let's just do that do forward five steps and I think it's gonna be easier to see once we traveled a at least a little bit and uh, okay so we go forward five steps then turn left and then again one two three four steps and we can optimize the code later uh, step forward that'll bring us here to this corner Oh, this this tile sorry uh, did I miss something let's take a look oh one two three four steps sorry four steps turn and then we need to do four steps again okay that should bring us here okay and then let's wait for this to go away so the tricky part what is the tricky part so Sophia can turn jump 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 come here come all the way here uh, but let's try it let's see if we can make it work so let's turn left so all the way here is this code and now we can turn left and make one step forward and that will bring us here to this bush and then we can make two jumps so let's make the two jumps one two and then we're gonna turn down so that means turn right and step forward and turn right one more time uh, let's see where it, where it gets us. Hop, turn, and we need now we, we now need to get all the way here to this corner, right? So how do we do that? We have one, two, three, four steps. So we can just do repeat four times. Let me put it here. So repeat, repeat four times, step forward. Okay, and let's run this. And that should get us all the way here. And just a little bit of the of the maze is still unvisited. So let's see. So obviously what I want to do right here is turn right and then jump forward we know that much so let's do that
pop. Okay, and now we are here in this corner and we need to figure out a way of visiting all tiles and that actually shouldn't be that hard anymore. We can, for example, turn right and walk this way and come here and finally end up over here or something similar to that. So, okay. So little by little I couldn't see the solution right away without, you know, going forward. But as you can see, little by little you kind of program a little bit and then hopefully it'll give you better idea of what's going on. So we could also just walk this way, jump, jump, jump and finish here. Uh, anything, anything really is fine. So uh, what I'm going to do though, uh, just to make it, can I make it a little bit more efficient? Probably not. So yeah, so it doesn't matter. So, so we'll just keep going straight to avoid the turns. So I'll go step forward, step forward. That brings us to this corner. And now I do one, two, three, four steps. So first, actually, first I have to turn right. So, sorry. Uh, we are here, right? So step forward, step forward, turn right. And then we're gonna do the repeat loop and do one, two, three, four steps. So we need to do four steps. Great. So we do four steps, then uh, turn right, and then do say two steps. One, two. And actually, let me drag this over here just to keep have enough space to fit everything in. And let's see now. I forgot where we are, so let's just see. Uh, what did happen? Oh, okay, sorry. I guess we have to make sure that the code knows which which uh, part or which part of the script should be run first. So it runs this part first, and we did this already. Great, so we got to this place and now all we have to do is jump. So let's see, we actually have to turn right first, then jump forward over the bush, right? Turn right, jump over the bush, make one more step. And then turn right again. And make one more step. And then make two more steps. Actually, so turn right and make two more steps. Uh, step, step. So this is great. We have some code here that works. Uh, I don't see how quite to make it a little more elegant. Uh, it's quite possible that I missed something, that there is an easy path or easier path, a little more elegant path where I don't have this many single statements. This seems pretty long code, but I'll let you guys to play with it some more and figure it out. And I'll think about it too and I might actually post the solution only as a picture rather than a video in the coding class uh, in codewithsarah.com. So let's see. Let's play this. Uh, so we are done now with the first half and now we're doing the second half. It's jumps, steps, perfect. So we visited all tiles. Uh, let's do uh, one more lesson. Let's see how it looks. Uh, if it's too complicated, I might actually leave it for a separate video. So let's take a look. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. 
So I think this is what, what we're going to do on the next video to keep the videos short. And we, I might also revisit the previous lesson and see if there is some more efficient solution. So remember, all you have to do, you can try this on your own, combine jumps and turns and steps and remember to use loops and sometimes you can even use their inner loops or the nested loops and get a really efficient code. So I hope you can do it and I'll see you on the next video.